so all I need to do is sacrifice some of my life essence to go in here. Ah, I don't see why not. Who or what is that? This is not someone I recognize. So, in the name of Hades, um, hello, may I ask who's calling? Um, have we met? Although we have met in a way, I know everybody here and there. You wish to leave this place, and it is my wish to make your doing so a little bit more interesting. And if you encounter the other people someday, do give them my regards. Master Chaos, everyone makes offerings to my relatives upon Olympus. I wish to make an offering to you. Thank you for everything. How droll of you to make attempts to tempt me with material things. You then, please in turn allow me this attempt at reciprocity. Master Chaos, thank you. When you come to my domain, an all-seeing artifact that sprang from me after the dawn of time. It is considered a defensive instrument, I do believe. Though I suspect you have discovered, or soon shall discover, it is nothing of the sort. When you move in darkness, practically unseen, son of Hades, it is quite difficult even for me to sense your presence at times. The human beings catch their glimpses now and then, but you are always in a shroud. Thus is the influence of Nyx. You have traveled recently beyond my senses, son of Hades. I persist here only in the fathomless depths. I know what lies out there, having created it, but I know nothing of what it is like right now. Do not tell me. I prefer to think of all the possibilities. I trust the small round catalyst which I provided you has been of value, son of Hades. It is my hope it makes your journeys to this space less difficult, perhaps inducing them on a more frequent interval. A certain rumbling here within the bowels of the earth. It is as though it had ingested something that did not sit well. Perhaps the earth itself wishes to spit you up and out. The other beings are vying for your favor, are they not? So often they forget themselves. They force their blessings onto you, whilst I, I merely offer you a choice. Yours to shape as you see fit, regardless of the fate's design. Together we may twist that path of it, if you would like. As we become acquainted, son of Hades, I shall make myself quite clear in one respect. I fear I have a lack of patience for discussion. When visiting, please may you listen, and accept my mark, and then depart. Respond only when necessary, or when prompted. Yes. Merely listen, so it's just like when I get those messages from the Olympians. Wait, you did just prompt me, Master Chaos, didn't you? Or should I have remained silent just now? I cannot offer you advice, but you were prompted, yes. You may speak freely, then or any time, despite my wishes that you not do so. Absolute silence is my general preference. It may not be yours. The charms of Goddess Aphrodite are upon you unmistakably. Although I shall be curious to see if her command over one's sense of love shall have any effect beneath the earth. Son of Hades, I believe I have deduced something I ought to have sooner recognized. Your mother must have been one who called herself Persephone. Her stay within the underworld was brief from my perspective, but impactful nonetheless. You seek her now. Respond. Oh, Master Chaos. You should know I have located her already. Though where she is, I cannot stay for long. So I'm visiting as often as I can. It's not unlike our visits here, only somehow even harder to get to where she is. I see. Then it is good to know that you have been in contact. And I trust that your successive visits shall be worth their while. Not unlike our visits here. Each spurring you 
toward the mountain top. They place such value on familial bonds that none of them remember who I am. We do not place too much faith in that little son of Hades. I ask you this, and I would not speak of the son of Hades. Whilst the Olympians, they do not ask about them. We merely send their messages to you, unprompted, providing a choice of blessing, but no say. I seek to understand their point of view, but it is difficult. When you extend an offering to the Olympians, for a fleeting instant, it appears as though they are able to hear your prayer. Or so I have observed. How interesting that your thoughts are capable of breaking free, yet you cannot. Perhaps you ought to let them know the truth about your journey's goal. Anthony, and think that it is them you seek. I'll never get out of here if not for their help, but I can't let them know about Mother. She wants to remain hidden from them. A difficult position to be in, son of Hades. The Olympians may not appreciate being this man, but you can trust that I shall keep your secret. I wish to see how your predicament plays out. I am impressed that you were able to procure a specimen out from the flowing currents here in my domain, with nothing but a simple instrument. I shall look forward to your subsequent attempts. I understand that hunting goddess Artemis recently has turned her gaze towards you. It is unexpected she would offer her assistance, even to a relative in need. And all his kin on Mount Olympus, they think that you are born of Hades and the goddess Nyx. I was amused to learn of this deception. Nyx has mothered many of the underworld's own, so why not you? She isn't my birth mother, no, but she is like a mother to me. Do you know her? Oh, I know the goddess Nyx quite well, of course. Though it has been a while since we last communicated, and I fear. Well, I was not the charitable sort back then. It is my hope that Nyx is faring well. And this wise goddess Athena has imbued you with her charms, I see, O son of Hades. Perhaps to her, you are a tool with which her broken family may as yet be mended. Lately, son of Hades, I have sensed what I would call a sort of shift within your father's residence. Did something noteworthy occur, perhaps? Respond. Master Chaos, it's Persephone, my mother. She's returned. She's chosen to return. So, things feel different, certainly, with her around, although I didn't feel any sort of shift. You may not sense these shifts as I. The lightness of this space bends and adjusts with time. What you describe, it must have been the cause. I trust that the occasion is a welcome one, and I am pleased that you returned, nevertheless. I knew you would arrive, but only in the moments prior to the fact. Thus I am experiencing residual surprise. Your movements through the underworld brings the veil of darkness and shrouds you. The goddess mixes influence, perhaps. Respond. I... Do not know how to respond to that exactly, Master Chaos, but Nyx, yes, she has been aiding me in my attempts to flee my father's realm. You need in darkness, not as infinitely black as hers, but reminiscent to me nonetheless. I would invite her to try to elude me, and then attempt to locate her. A minor amusement for the both of us. Now I have you for this, I see. Please tell me something, son of Hades. If the one who called herself Persephone is back, then why do you continue to return? Respond. Master Chaos, it seems I've developed something of a talent around breaking out of here. Or there, I mean, the underworld. So, it's become more of an official role for me, I guess. If escape shouldn't be possible, then someone needs to find the gaps. Indeed. Then you shall visit with me still. Despite accomplishing the principal object of your journey back when first we met. Good. Infinite possibilities can be tedious to choose from. 
so let me provide you with a significantly smaller set with which you may yet change the fate's designs. Beware the dancing of the great lord Zeus. He still believes he holds dominion over both heaven and earth. I think perhaps he has forgotten about me. full of warmth, you know. But lately, as I understand, she is more prone to taking it away. This is for you, Master Chaos. Everyone beneath the heavens and earth enjoys this stuff. You honor me in making such an offering. Well, please, it is not necessary to endear yourself using material means, for it is the thought alone which counts. Such darkness emanates from you, O son of Hades, but I once again did not entirely anticipate you would arrive just now. I suspect even your father must have difficulty keeping track of you through the domain he calls his own. Master Chaos, forebear of the gods, it is an honor to have met you. Please accept this gift. Seldom do mortals or immortals think of making offerings to me. As I do not expect such token gestures, I am very much amused, and I accept. It is not unexpected that you consorted with the violent Ares and now bear his moon. He still worships me, you know, yet I would say he does not know me very well. Master Chaos. I pledge never to forget you, your good graces. May your wisdom and your whim forever guide me. Is this an offering of fealty or friendship, son of Hades? I do not wish to know from you the answer, so that I might dwell on it and all the possibilities. But father and his brothers, when they sealed the titans in the darkest reaches of this world, that was the last they saw of me as well. You were dissimilar from them, and I feel safe communicating thus with you. I'm ever grateful that my journeys through the underworld mean that we can get to know each other, Master Chaos. Your repeated generosity with me is starting to become a bit predictable. And yet somehow, I nonetheless appreciate it still. How very odd. peace within my space before venturing on in uncertainty. To my surprise, I must admit, I do appreciate the company. Master Chaos, it's little wonder all existence sprang from you because I see the noble qualities in so many I've met embodied in you. Please accept this gift. If it is unclear yet, son of Hades, I shall not be giving more to you in exchange for your repeated offerings. You give them to me knowing it shall serve no purpose and achieve no end. I know that there are some among both mortals and your kind, for whom this is quite unacceptable. I bear a message for you, son of Hades. One recorded in an age when certain concepts it describes did not yet all exist. Remember this. I see you stand your ground against the serpent's flame. A waking phrase, to which you and the all-seeing artifact of my creation may respond. A waking phrase? And an all-seeing artifact you must mean Aegis, right? So I'm to say to it, I see you stand your ground against the serpent's flame and it'll wake right up. Though, can you tell me what it means, or who? Oh, I can tell you almost anything. However, I would much prefer it if you learned most of the answers you seek by yourself. I was at times uncharitable with the goddess Nyx when we were closer long ago. After she bore her first children, I nevertheless expected her attention to remain undivided. I kept creating. When finally I slowed, I realized my mistake, but our connection had been severed by that point. From the rumblings of the earth, I have deduced your father himself stands against you when at last you are about to leave these depths. It must be quite an interaction between you. Have I deduced correctly? Respond.
That's right, Master Chaos. My father personally takes it upon himself to stop me in the event none of his underlings beat him to it. He can be a handful. Well, consider bringing to one of your future interactions the small round catalyst which I provided you. The one in the shape you call an egg? It shall serve no purpose there at all. Yet if you succeed, then it shall bring us some amusement, shall it not? I sense that something is the matter, son of Hades. Speak then. What is on your mind? I can decipher some of it without your telling. I would rather hear it from you voluntarily. Um, Master Chaos, the goddess Nyx, she seems to want to speak with you again. I wonder, would you maybe contact her sometime? She seems convinced it is your move to make if you so choose. The goddess Nyx wishes to hear from me. Uh, that is unexpected, son of Hades. And I wonder if perhaps this is a jest of yours. Though your intentions evidently are sincere. Then I shall make no promises in this, except that... I am considering the possibility. I think we sensed that you were able to confront your father while in possession of my small round catalyst. It seems my asking you, and your success, was in accordance with the fate's design as well. The result is more amusing even than expected. Thus, thank you. So of Hades should eventually you spawn your own offspring. I recommend maintaining some infinite distances with them in space and time. Even if they are most tiresome, there always seems to come a point when one wishes to be in their presence once again. Your presence never ceases to intrigue me, son of Hades. For you are not like the Olympians on high, who have forgotten me, or thus they choose to act. After some consideration and on your recommendation, I attempted waiting to make contact with the goddess Nyx again. She is quite distant from me now, of course. If you happen to know, did she receive the message well? Respond. Well, Master Chaos, she can be a little difficult to read at times, but I got the impression she was quite surprised, even excited to have heard from you again. She said that she would think about how to respond, or whether to respond. I see. Well, she shall find a way if it is warranted. I always did expect the world from her. There were times when I expected her to shine as bright as day, though she is night. When she achieved a certain level of ability, she left, and I could not find her. The fates have much in store for you, O son of Hades. Perhaps, however, we can tamper with their weavings here to some extent. Here over the course of time is present, son of Hades. Hope Nix is alright. I have detected some unusual activity within the reaches of the underworld, son of Hades. Vast sums of darkness collected in an ancient catalyst, which I see now almost like a beacon shining in the night. This either is the work of Nix, or you, or both. I am anticipating the result. It pleases me immensely, son of Hades, to have seen the goddess Nyx again. The significant amount of time that has elapsed since last this happened told sufficiently old pains, I think. Thus it becomes a basis on which our connection may, in time, take shape again. This is the greatest delicacy of Olympus, Master Chaos. It's for you. I think normally it would be difficult for the Olympians to get it to you here. You make an even greater offering to me, knowing it shall produce no material result. You are aware that I am not persuadable. Yours is a squandering of resources and time. Although, of course, we do have each of these in great supply. Now then, respond. I just think the act of giving isn't quite the same as an exchange. I know I won't be getting any sort of other talisman or something in return, but through these offerings, I can express my thanks. That's worth it by itself. I see. So then the action is akin to theft. For you are getting something in return that I did not intend to give. 
I still have much to learn from my creations, son of Hades. So let us say that we have made an even trade. My learning for your worth. If you'll forgive me, Master Chaos, this ambrosia is intended to be given to those whom I care about, and I can think of few recipients I'd like to have it more. Please. I shall accept this as a final offering of some of Hades. For I have given it additional consideration, and decided that my previous analysis of your intentions was too narrow, too inaccurate, and I regret comparing what you have been doing to an act of theft. Respond. Don't even mention it, please, Master Chaos. All of this is new for me as well. I try never to overanalyze. My father does enough of that for all of us. I just know when I encounter the primordial creator, I am going to give thanks. For everything. I see. Then your response is quite acceptable. And since the act of giving is not an exchange, let us say that you already have my gratitude. Oh, I'm glad you asked. It's just my mother, she's... We're reaching out to the Olympians, trying to reconnect the family. It's been a while, relatively, since she and father saw the others, but in case a gathering occurs, I did wish you to know you're cordially invited, too. Cordially invited? A generous proposal, son of Hades. Though a natural gathering is to occur within my space, please understand it would be difficult for me to bring the full entirety of my presence there. However, I think I can arrange to be with you in some capacity. Thank you. How strange it is to be subjected to the fates. But do not fall into the cognitive delusion that they have already made your choices for you, son of Hades. Rather, they are keen about anticipating every choice that everyone shall make. Such as the following. My daughter, the goddess Nyx. When I learned the Olympians mistakenly assumed she was your mother, I did not fully consider the possibility that she essentially was a mother to you. The technicality of birth aside, she cares for you to the extent a mother can. You may have wondered, son of Hades, how it is you came to find me in this space when I have gone unseen by most for quite some time. I have wondered this as well, and think that our connection to Goddess Nyx is the most likely answer. I sense your consternation, son of Hades, as you look about this space. You have another question, and are free to ask. Oh, it's just... I sometimes wonder, Master Chaos. If you created all of this, then who created you? What was this place before you arrived? All of this simply came to be, and so did I, presumably after a former time had finally reached its end. I hesitate to say it was an act of will. It was more like a sudden shift, as when a conflagration happens from a spark. I arrived at such a time, and all else then arrived from me. Prior to your intervention, son of Hades, I expected that the goddess Nyx had forgotten about me. Either purposefully, or from passage of time. I believed that to be forgotten was the one true inevitability. Perhaps, however, I was incorrect. When you expire and then suddenly return to life within your father's residence, perhaps it is akin to when I first gained consciousness so long ago. Perhaps I too had just expired only to reawaken. Immortals dwelling underneath the earth. How may I change your life today, O oh son of Hades? Lord Poseidon offered you his blessing, it would seem. He can be rather boastful and belligerent, exhibiting the most unattractive manners of your father and Lord Zeus alike. It pleases me your gathering of the Olympians occurred. I must inform you. I have never once before detected quite so many of my offspring in a single space. At least not without violent intent. I appreciate that you included me, and that you have returned. Shall we continue then? I find that 
is difficult to maintain in my connection with many consciousnesses, such as yours and that of the goddess Mix. We are also finding that this difficulty is fully warranted. Our connections give me much to consider as I await our next exchange. I find myself anticipating your arrival some days. The truths underneath the earth foretold of your arrival at this very moment, some days, and I have anticipated it. Your presence is appreciated, some of Hades, but please leave us here for now. I won't be with you, son of Hades. You need merely choose its shape. Please visit me as frequently as you would like, or dare. Let us conspire to expand and frustrate your Lord Father's sense of both what is and is not possible within his underworld. is offered in his services, I see. He can be rather unpredictable, and therefore offers me a source of some amusement. Through the expanse of time, I often wondered, is it necessary to be fair? The immortals are my offspring. Surely I should treat them equally. And yet I find that there is little sport in doing so. The burden of the passing time shall force a choice from you. Victoria spurs you on, I see, on some Hades. Beware the narrow distance between hastiness and swiftness, a distinction I am not so sure the god of travel fully understands. Please tell me how my power over all existence may be of small assistance to you this time, some Hades. Out of the infinitely spanning possibilities before us, son of Hades, I have arbitrarily selected only three again from which to let you choose. Not when I conceived the world and the immortal son of Hades, I did not expect you would be standing here before me now. Hello, Nyx. You found us. Chaos and I have so much left to discuss. just in the midst of telling me the latest occurrences about your house. How fears these days the never-ending cycle of rebirth and death for you, O son of Hades? Sufficiently amusing, I should hope. Good for you, son of Hades, and together let us sow my namesake through the depths of what your father thinks his own domain. chose to visit me again within these darkest reaches of the earth, as I in turn now choose to offer you the means to alter your reality. And though the waters of the Styx may wash away my mark, I can restore it. Is there not pleasure in determining an outcome, son of Hades? How to evaluate decisions is of limitless interest to me.